what is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs we're gonna dive in here with your what's the tea messages here okay let's see what it is that you need to know beautiful scorpios all right what's the energy that scorpio needs to know at this moment for the what's the tea reading what is the energy that scorpio needs to know right now for the what's the tea reading What's the energy that Scorpio needs to know right now for the West of Tea rating, please? We have number 14. Four plus one is five, <laughs> which represents change. I love this card, y'all. It says thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve, okay? So I like this card, all right? And then you also have number 16. Six plus one is seven. Bitch fire. Stand up for yourself, okay? So speaking your truth, Scorpio. We know that bitch fire card is speaking your truth here. Somebody may, you know, I'm going to read both of them. I'm going to read both of them because we, we got new people on the channel. Everybody don't know what the cards mean. Yeah, we've had them before, but we're going to read them again, okay? Let's do this quickly. And then we'll get into the West of Tea energy. Okay, so this card, Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. This right here is the ultimate card of celebration, not just of yourself. You are amazing, though, but of those around you, when you're done putting on your crown each and every morning, go and help someone else put on theirs. You have so much love and wisdom to spread, so don't waste it. Self-love is essential, but community is important, too, here. Okay, so this is about, like, you know what I'm saying? You've had to do what you needed to do to fix your crown. Come on, uh, camera, fix for me. Hey, when it does that. There we go. You had to do what you had to do to fix your crown, okay? Somebody knocked it off or something knocked it off, right? But you had to pick yourself up and you had to fix your crown, but you learned a lesson, okay? In that, you learned some type of lesson. So now what Spirit wants you to do is that lesson that you learned, share that with somebody. Go help somebody else fix their crown that don't know how to quite get back up the way that you got up. Because as, as a Scorpio, let me tell you something that, pe that people don't understand about Scorpio. Scorpio represents the death card in the tarot, which is transformation, death and rebirth, okay? So you can try to kill a Scorpio and they can look completely dead, but that thing will still sting you. That thing, that tail is still poisonous. That's the thing about a Scorpio. And Scorpios are like the phoenix. They always rise from the ashes, okay? So with that being said, the spirit is saying to, to you that whatever you've been through, it's, it's, it's okay. You got back up. You fixed your crown. Now it's time to go help somebody else. Help somebody else out to get back up, to shine bright like you did, to be as strong and confident as you are now, okay? Because they may not be as strong as you were, all right? And they may need the help. So then you got number 16. I like this card, y'all. This I think this is one of my favorite cards. <laughs> Bitch fire, stand up for yourself. There's no better way to say it. Someone in your life is trying to burn you at the stake. Maybe you didn't give them something they wanted or you didn't let them get away with their bad behavior. Either way, they're trying to ruin your reputation. Rest assured, your reputation will stay intact. Silence can be effective, but this is not the kind of situation. Get loud and let them have a taste of your bitch fire. And see, that's part of my thing that normally I just be quiet and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to let it sweep under the rug. It's going to be, my ear is ringing so loud, y'all. It's going to be whatever. I'm just, I'm just going to ignore it. But you know what? By doing that, because you're so silent, people are like, people are like, oh, Scorpio's not going to do anything. Oh, Scorpio ain't going to do nothing back. I can say and do whatever I want to. But the moment Scorpio bring out that stinger, it's all hell. The let loose, okay? And I've noticed that because I will hold stuff back for a very long time. But baby... When that mouth gets to going, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> That's it. It's over. <laughs> it's over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slice you into pieces with my words, baby. Okay, let's see here. We're going to pull out your what's the tea energy. Y'all have my, my cards in my bag. I took them to work today. All right, let's see here. We're going to see what it is that Scorpio needs to know. What's going on with Scorpio? Guys, if you are not into cursing and things like that, you do not want to watch this video, okay? Because these cards have curse words on them as well as my mouth will have curse words coming out of them, okay? So, if you do not want to listen to that, please click off now. All right, warning you ahead of time. All right, here we go. What's going on with Scorpio? Why is this the energy? Jackpot. Well, first of all, baby, yeah, jackpot, okay? You got things happening for you. New beginnings, money, jackpot, okay, winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. So some of you got money coming in, okay, you got a lot of abundance coming in for you, Scorpio here, so yeah, that's looking good, your money's gonna be looking good, it's looking, smelling, feeling like a million bucks, oh, okay, <laughs> all right, 
What else is going on for the Scorps? They lost their chance, or you did, last chance. So somebody feels like they lost out on their jackpot. They lost out on their abundance. They lost that. They just said generational wealth. Somebody feels like they lost out on their generational wealth. They feel like you were it. You were the one. You were the person. But they lost out on you. Somebody's looking at you like a big old bag of money. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Oh, married for money. <laughs> told you somebody's looking at you like a bag of money okay this person here always partying okay and then boss bitch this person here whoever this is they could like their focus may not have been on money yours may be on money yours may be on success and abundance but the problem with them they might have wanted to be with you only for your money they could have been using you only for your money and that sucks this person could have been the type of person that always goes out there's always on to the next club, the next hottest spot, that type of energy. They can't focus enough on money. Well, long and behold, you're sorry, I thought my door opened up. Long and behold, you're over here focused on your business, your grind, trying to build your success, trying to build your stability here. So, of course, yeah, no wonder they're looking at you like they missed out on something. What else do you have for Scorpio? A groupie. Whoever this is, they are definitely a groupie. Okay, they may look at you, look up to you, see what you got going on. But they could be the type of person that's like watching you from afar. You may not even know that they're watching you. They could be on your Facebook, on your YouTube, on your Instagram, watching what you're doing. You may not know it. They could be watching from a different account. Want you back. Whoever it is, they want you back. It's all it is. They want you back, but they feel like they lost out on a chance with you here. Now they may feel like you're out of their league. Especially if you're in the storms energy where it's weaved together the crown you deserve. Yeah, ooh, they extra trigger too. They could have been the reason why your crown got knocked off, right? They were the reason that your crown was knocked off. And now that you know, put that crown back on your head and that crown done been bedazzled out, it's got, it's got crystals and gold and, and all kind of stuff on it. Now they're like, oh, well, damn. Well, Scorpio, I, I didn't know you was going to get back up like that. Yeah, I am because maybe I'm an idol. Look at there. You got the idol card on the bottom of the deck. The idol says, love, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. Because people see what you went through, that you've been drugged through the dirt. Or if they don't know, they will find out. Because, baby, I feel like a lot of you are going to be telling your story. A lot of you are going to be telling your story, getting out what's been going on in your life here. And people are going to look up to you and say, wow, Scorpio, I never knew you went through that. I never knew that's what you were dealing with. You're so strong. Wow, and then you're going to be helping, because you're in this energy, you're going to be helping other people get through the same situation. Or you're going to be helping people stand up for themselves here. Screenshots, getting evidence, proof, and facts. Some of you, like, they could be, I feel like a lot of you got a lot of screenshots, a lot of information in your phone about stuff that has happened. Yeah, talking shit, oh goodness. Let me see about the screenshots, getting evidence, proofs, and facts. What is this about? Yeah, some people... You might have caught somebody up here with the screenshots, getting evidence, proof, and facts. Because you got incarcerated, locked up, about to be always in and out. This person could have been very in and out of your life all the time, very inconsistent, very off and on here. You could have screenshots about this person, how in and out they've been, or how off and on they've been. Or them asking for money, broke ass, bottom of the deck. They could have been asking you for money. Oh, Lord. Some of you, this person has been locked up. Or it went to jail or something like that. And you have a phone of theirs that you found some type of screenshot in that they were messing around with other people. Because you got romantic lovers, which is uh, sex fix, secret lover, and fuck buddy. So some of you might have found out that this person was messing around with other people here. And you got the screenshots to prove it. That could be the reason why they're incarcerated or like in their head. You know what I'm saying? They could be. This could just be them stuck in their head here. Because they, they can't get out of this because you have the information. With the screenshots and evidence here. You got the information you needed. The proof. Like hey yo look. What's this? You know what I'm saying? And now they know they, they lost out on a chance with you. They Now they know they missed out on something that brought them abundance in their life. What else do you have for Scorpio? Dust it off. Look at you. You dusting it off. You like it's all good. It's all good. Wasting time. Stuck. No change is limited. You're like yeah this I'm good. You didn't do. You weren't doing nothing but trying to stick me in 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 a box. You weren't trying to do nothing but keep me there. I'm good. I'm I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep on trucking. What just came out? Uninterested, fake accounts, and low IQ here. 
So here, you could be uninterested in this person now that you found out what they got going on here. Fake accounts and low IQ. They could have pretended like, you know what I'm saying? They could have had like fake accounts, but they it's like the information was right there in the phone. Like they could have been, some of you, this, this person was like on dating sites. You know what I'm saying? On dating sites, but they didn't hide it. Like as soon as you popped up the little internet thing on their phone, it went straight to the to the site or something like that. And you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> You think I'm stupid or you think I'm dumb? Because I'm neither one. Like, you got the information right there in front of your face. Creeping. Look. Yeah. This person was creeping on you. Playing around. Oh, wow. What else? Fake smiles and girl fights. So, it's like... Girl fights is argument, physical fight, at war, and competing. Like, this person could have had you in competition for them. They were supposed to be your person. They were your person. They were in a relationship with you. But they had you out here fighting for their attention. When it shouldn't have been like that. You should never have to be in competition with another person for your person. Why am I in competition with another person for my person? Why, why am I fighting over you when you my husband? Why am I fighting over you when you my wife? Why am I fighting over you when we in a relationship? Who is that? What? What? Why is this here? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm seeing for you here. Also, for some of you, this person, like, they faking like they're happy, but they not. They, they, they going through some drama in their life here. What else do you have? Mm -mm. This person, okay, giving money, divination abuser in reverse and fed up here. Lord. What is going on with this person? This person could have been thinking that you were going to get them some money or like they had, they got some type of reading on what type of money you got coming in, but the reading wasn't accurate here. Like something about that reading wasn't accurate. It's like they're fed up watching uh, videos about you, like tarot reading videos about you like they're tired of some of them they're tired of paying tarot readers to find out what's going on with you like they can't it's like they can't figure out what's going on with you when you're coming wh where are you coming back like because I'm, I'm seeing this crying over you sad hurt upset it's like they they want you back and they're trying to get like readings on you to find out where you're at what you're doing or like paying people to you know like, hey can you give me a tarot reading on this person i want to find out if they thinking about me or if they giving me money or you know whatever whatever if i got money coming in whatever's going on but every time they get a reading, nothing comes true. Or like, <laughs> they just feel fed up. Queen rising underneath that here. So look at you standing in your power. Being successful and abundant. What else is going on? They feel abandoned. They feel confused. Some of, some of them are dealing with childhood neglect, okay? Childhood abandonment here. Or they could have been abandoning their children for the uh, for the ones of you that uh, got kids with this person here. Confused. See, they're just a ball of a mess here, though, because they got confused and bad habits here. So this person doesn't know what to do. They just don't know what to do. They could be caught up in, like, toxic situations here, toxic ways. They don't know left from right right now. They're just confused. Some of them don't know how to be a parent. Some of them don't know how to just be an adult, <laughs> like... Some of them don't know how to keep a stable job. This is what I'm saying. Like somebody's very dependent or codependent on something, whether it's a substance or a person or toxic situations. Could be family members as well. What else is going on? Dirty offer. Ugh. Be careful of any offers coming in from this person or from like friends of this person here trying to tell you like, hey, you know, so-and-so miss you. They really want you back. Yada, yada, yada. No. They karmic friends. The offer ain't legit. It's dirty. Can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. It says keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <sighs> Broke ass. Happiness hater. This person, they could be having financial problems, financial issues here. And it's like they're not happy that you're happy. They're not happy. They're not happy that you're happy and they want you chasing them. They want you chasing behind them, running up behind them, figuring out, you know, trying to tell them that you love them. Or they want to be chasing you. 
scarcity tactic. Yeah, this person's going through some type of financial situation. Could have to do with children, okay? Child services here. Child services is here. So child support or back child support, something like that. In their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. This person's stressed out because they've been rejected. And this moves in silences here as well. So I feel like you have been moving in silence. Like you haven't been making no noise here. But for some reason, I feel like this person, because that talking shit card was there, as well as extra triggered. What else is, what is going to be this person's actions? Like poor Scorpio. They're going to try to come to you with this played out card. Or they feel like, they're play like the whole situation is played out like they don't have no chance with you because you're in this boss bitch energy here and you know a boss bitch she runs it says runs on business stable busy multifaceted so you're like very very grounded very focused very driven here but like this person here like i don't even see you two on the same channel i don't even see you two in the same frequency like, I just see y'all two being completely separate. Like, y'all goals are completely separate. You're over here focused on money, finances, stability, and growing and glowing and helping other people. And then this person over here, it's like they're stuck in this karmic cycle. Like, they're stuck in this low vibration here. Like, they want money. They want the, everything that you're getting, but they're not. I don't see them really focused on that. I see them focused more on, like, third parties, sex, being stuck in their head, maybe partying too much, you know what I'm saying? And like, because that's where their focus is, that low vibrational stuff, that's what's coming towards them. But they can't be mad at you about it, though, you know? So, yeah. Mm. See, this person got some growing up to do. Player at the top of the deck. This could have been a player. This person was very in and out of your life. So, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. But this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate you all so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.